Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is your general reading for August and beginning of September. I want to start off by saying thank you. Wow, look at that opportunity. Virgo got that too. I want to give a big thanks to everyone who has supported me, who has joined and followed me over on Instagram, who has sent me donations. You are all so kind. And those that have booked readings, I absolutely appreciate you guys so much. So let's get started. Beginning of August, Capricorn, beginning of August, helpful people. Too many cards here, but I will show them to you. No, remain positive, double no. So there is something here. First thing that comes to your mind, the angels are saying no too. Look at that, opportunity came out again, that's awesome. That message was meant for you, Capricorn. You've got some helpful people that are going to have an opportunity. They're going to open up to you about something. They're going to have an offer for you. Maybe you have an opportunity to work with some people. Work within a business partnership, in a company. And you're going to feel those changes within the next few months. So we have abundance and opportunity and helpful people coming in. These changes that are moving within the next few months. All right, Capricorn, let's, let's clarify this. Let's see, what do we have here? First half, first half of August, helpful people, opportunity within the next few months. Please clarify these. Clarify these messages, please. If you have been stuck in this self-imposed prison, not sure what path to take, what choice to make, it is time for you to seek the help of other people. Maybe you've been a bit defensive. You've got that Ace of Cups there. Maybe you've been defensive. If you need to seek marital counseling, relationship counseling, I just got that right now. Yeah, see? This is about... This is about seeking the assistance of a counselor, a therapist. Maybe you go to your church and ask for marital counseling. Maybe some sort of conflict resolution within a family member, a business partnership. I do feel that the love is here, but there are so many things going on in your head, in their head. You really need the help of other people to help you mediate this situation. I do feel the love here. I do feel that there's a sense of resentment. Something happened to bring you to this to bring you to this uh, state in your relationship. Maybe you've overthought too many things and now you're stuck in your head about it. You just don't know how to move forward. And so you just want to walk away from things. Queen of Wands, if that is you, Capricorn, taking on the Queen of Wands energy wanting to be this powerful and independent woman you can do that being the queen of pentacles as well but if you have fire in your chart you're feeling a lot more passionate about this situation you're standing your ground you've got the knight of wands and the seven of wands so you are standing your ground you're not backing down from this situation because you're in this self-imposed in prison about something that happened maybe you felt that someone was juggling two jobs two relationships something was going on and you were getting the short end of the stick whether you're involved with the fire sign or an air sign king of swords aquarius libra gemini it doesn't have to be but it can also take on that relationship i'm sorry that energy where they're a little cold a little put off and you're wondering why did they change why are they acting this way are they juggling two relationships is there someone else i don't know why i just got the message that someone's gonna hire like a pi to keep track on these people to see where your partner is going if there are trust issues here you need to seek professional help to be able to deal with these trust issues because that is you, King of Pentacles. You want to move forward, 
to bigger and better. You want growth. You want things to change between you. That is two eights, right? You want things to change between the two of you. However, you can't get past the doubt. You can't get past the past is how I'm feeling. So don't take what happened in the past in a prior relationship because I feel this is someone in particular. If you had issues with someone in the past, don't bring it into your new relationship. It's only going to repeat the same cycle. So seek counseling, seek professional help, mediator, whatever it may be, whoever it may be, to be able to, you know, differentiate between the last relationship and this relationship. Don't bring the old baggage behind, you know. Don't bring it. Don't bring it with into your new relationship. And so here we go with opportunity. What kind of opportunity can Capricorn expect? <laughs> this is a new job offer or an opportunity to go back to school and learn a new skill set. Perhaps this is you that's training somebody new. I feel as though this is an opportunity to make more money in the long run. So once you complete this apprenticeship, once you complete this, you know, whatever it may be, a training, a program for certification, maybe you're taking extra classes just to climb up the pay scale. It's going to happen within the next few months, but that money opportunity, it is coming to you. It's coming a little slowly because this program or whatever it is that you're doing to try to learn something new, to try to move forward, is what's going to take some time. You have two nights, so Knight of Cups. You're doing what you love. You don't care if it takes you a while. You don't care if that love offer, that money offer doesn't come quickly why is the ten of swords here you have an opportunity to end wow look at that queen of swords what is going on i've got two different messages here with the opportunity card okay <sighs> capricorn what do you have going on here okay here it is if somebody here is involved with someone at work you're going to be forced to put an end to it. If you are involved with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Yeah, I feel that there. if you somebody here is involved with someone at work, you're going to have to put an end to it. Because I get the sense that you might be that person's supervisor or that person is your supervisor and you want to move ahead and it won't be able to happen. Because too many people know or suspect that something's going on. And then there, it doesn't matter if you get certified or whatever it is that you need training on. It's just going to cause a lot of problems. You know that this is going to bring about some secrets. They will be revealed. It's going to put an end to something here. However, on the other the other spectrum here, the other message I'm getting is that somebody here is going to meet someone at work. Or so they're going to meet someone at school as you're getting the certification done. And you will be moving forward with them. You will get to know each other better as the, this program ends. But be careful of your involvement with other people because there will be an end to this opportunity. It will be taken away if you're involved with the wrong people when you shouldn't be. I need to clarify that. I don't like the way that, that feels. I feel like, like you would get this on your own merit, but too many people will be su suspecting otherwise. So let's clarify this Ten of Swords with the opportunity. I don't like that. Someone wants to take away this opportunity from you. Four of Wands. Somebody at work. Jealousy. Yeah, you know what? Someone is jealous. So with the Six of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, I definitely get the sense that you are working towards moving something more stable. 
for your future coming together where it builds your happily ever after here. However, somebody else is watching this and they're jealous. Maybe they are maybe they want the same person that you're with. Maybe they want the job that you're in or that you're trying to take. And they will try to sabotage you. I'm sorry, Capricorn. Keep an eye out for that. I don't like that feeling. Within the next few months, tell me about this card within the next few months. Yeah, so you'll have an opportunity for a new beginning. Absolutely. Look at that. Empress and the Two of Wands. There you go. Hello. Six of Swords and the Six of Cups. I love it. So within the next few months, you will gain the clarity. You will know who this person is that was trying to sabotage you. You'll still have this brand new opportunity that, that comes for you. You will be moving forward to calmer waters where you will be able to have this lovely home environment for your children if you have children. It will cause some people disappointment. Some people are not going to be happy about this, but you don't give a shit. <laughs> You're tired of it. You're tired of their bullshit. You're done fighting. You're done. You're done. You just want to get rid of all these wands and move forward. You're just done with it. Yeah, look at that. So if you if this is someone who is involved with someone in their workplace, or maybe people have been noticing how you get along with a particular supervisor, someone of stature, someone who is influential in streamlining your promotion, whatever it may be, be careful. You are being watched. People want to destroy this this opportunity for me they want to take it away from you they're going to say they're going to say that it is that you only got this job you only got this promotion because you're sleeping with the boss or you're sleeping with so and so or because you're good friends you don't have to be sleeping with them but maybe you get along good maybe you are good friends outside of work and so people start making these assumptions that that is the only reason why so perhaps you know this friend or this partner guided you towards the program that you need to attend to get certification. That could be possible, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's like a mentorship, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. And so if they tell you, hey, this position is going to open up, you should take advantage by taking these courses or take this workshop to get certified, you know, and then apply for it, and hopefully you get it. So that's great. That's your helpful people. That's who's going to come in and assist you. However, there will be other people that says, well, I didn't have that opportunity. And they did. So let's move on to the second half of August. Second half of August for Capricorn. Hello, romance. Within the next few weeks, okay, you got a lot going on, Capricorn, if you believe. Okay, second half of August, which is pretty much now, right, because I'm recording this a little late. Mercury retrograde has not been kind to me. Tell me about this romance for Capricorn. When you choose your path, that romance will unfold. Yeah, and it is someone at work. <laughs> it is someone at work. You will find happiness with this person. It's a very promising partnership. Maybe you are with another earth sign. Possibly a Virgo. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But the Nine of Pentacles tells me Virgo. But it, it doesn't have to be. So if there's someone in the workplace. Someone... At school, where you take this certification, you're popular, they're popular, you get recognized, you get along really great. Maybe they help you get the certification and that's where the drama comes in. Maybe it's someone at work that sees this, right? They want to take, take away this, these new paths that are unfolding for you. 
They do. They want to take them away. They don't want to see you happy because they're bitter betties, you know. They they don't have it going on for themselves, so why should anybody else be happy? But you know what? Do you, Capricorn? Fuck that shit. I'm sorry. You got a very, very positive outlook here. So within the next few weeks at work, there it is. You've been working really hard towards whatever this is for this new beginning. Maybe it's a creative outlet. Maybe it's a new job, a uh, new company, new business adventure. So let's see. There's that three of swords again. Someone is not happy at all that things are... Okay, look, someone is not happy at all that things are are like working in your favor. You need to take some time to figure out what the heck is going on. Why is this person so against you? Do right by them, but do right by yourself. You don't want this kind of toxic energy around you. You don't. If you've got love and a promising financial future coming at you, someone is very, very pissed off that everything is happening for you jealous people haters oh my goodness one more card please before we move on to the if you believe yeah so they have you second guessing yourself and that's what they want they want to sabotage you don't allow this to happen You've got a new love interest coming in, or perhaps this is someone you've already been seeing, but it takes on new momentum, new energy, right? Within the next few weeks, you will get the clarity that you need to keep moving forward. So if you believe, if you believe that you are on the right path, then so be it. If you believe that this will work out for you financially, right? Let go of the confusion. What did I say? These people are just putting things in your head to cause confusion. They're mind-fucking you. Capricorn, don't let them. Don't let them. If you believe the shit they're telling you, they've won. That Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, this all has to do with money, financial home stability they're confusing you so that you drop the ball they don't want you to have a stable financial future maybe they want to take you to the cleaners maybe they want to take all your money maybe they don't maybe they want to see you struggle but but the universe is going to still bring this big huge offer this big huge pinnacle for you and love look at that if you believe that it's all unfolding, that it's all coming to you, that you are manifesting, guess what, Capricorn? You are. I love it. I love it. So I think that's, I think we're done with that one. Let's move on to the beginning of September. And so we'll move on to the beginning of September and then I will close the reading with a message from your angels. They have been very, very accurate for me, very synchronistic. They've been helping me close out readings. Just amazing. So here we go. First, first couple weeks of September for Capricorn. First half. Here we go. Improving health. So if you've been stressed out, if you've been under the weather, working yourself too much, be assertive. Stand your ground. Capricorn, let's see, let's see, let go, okay, so it's time to let go of the stress, it's time to let go of what's not working out for you, it's time to let go of these toxic people and toxic energies, they are stressing you out, they are draining you, it's time to let them go, and you know what, you know they're no good for you. You know they're no good for your health, right? You know they're toxic. And toxic energies around you affect you emotionally and mentally. And all of that affects you physically. You'll start to feel sick. You'll get a cold. You can't seem to get rid of. You know, your, your immune system just starts breaking down. So be assertive. Be assertive in letting that shit go 
Look at that. You've got the Midas touch. That is you, Capricorn, King of Pentacles. You can manifest whatever it is that you want. Fast forward communication about your path as you move forward. Things are unfolding for you. And you got the same two eights again, right? Eight of cups and eight of swords. So, again, the stress that you take on from everything that's going on around you, it weakens your immune system. You will end up spending more time in bed, stressed out, thinking things over, being stuck in your head, overthinking. You have three eights. Three eights. This is huge. It's time to manifest progress. That's what eight is about. It's about making progress and you're there. But you need to heal yourself. Look at that. You're there. You've got the ten of cups. And you want to keep those Ten of Cups, right? So be assertive when it comes to these jerks, these assholes. They don't care. They don't care that they cut you down. Winning at all costs. They think they are better than you. They think they deserve this. They think they are much more entitled than you. And so they want to cut you down. You're dealing with some jealous people, some toxic people, and the universe is saying, I don't give a shit if that jerk comes in. Be assertive. We're still going to give you your four of wands. We're still going to move things forward. Look at that. Come on now. The universe has your back. The angels are on your side. This new world, these new paths, these new opportunities for you, they are unfolding. That road is opening up for you. But you can't let these toxic people invade your mental space. You can't let them. Let it go. Let it go. Release, release that power hold over you. Six of Wands. Moving forward victoriously. Doing what's right by you. Yes, Ace of Wands, positive new beginning. It's time to let go of the shit that these people have told you. If they have put you down, if they try to cut you down, if they try to say you don't deserve this, you're awful or you're this or you're that, you don't deserve this, you're not talented enough, you're not educated enough, trying to make you feel like you're not good enough, please. You know what this is? This is your sword of truth, your sword of victory, because the minute you empower yourself with your truth, knowing your self-worth and who you are, cuts all their bullshit out and you walk away like, mm-hmm, I know my shit, I'm victorious, I'm popular, I'm recognized, I'm recognized for all the good I do, I'm recognized for all my skills and talents, all the shit you said I didn't have, well, guess what? That new opportunity sure came in, considering I'm not talented, considering I'm not good enough, right? Right? So guess what? Because I know that I deserve it, because I know I'm talented, I know my shit, I'm going to use this sword to cut you out of my life, and I'm going to keep moving forward victoriously. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles. Again, if you are dealing with another earth sign, or this is you who has reached that victorious throne, that promotion. Yes, I've got my big pinnacle here. I am moving forward in a promotion. There's Virgo again. You, you're you either dealing with Virgo, or you've got Virgo in your chart, or the other person has Virgo in their chart. There is a lot of earth here. But the Virgo card, the hermit, it is about taking the time to contemplate, to think about what you truly need to let go of to be able to bask in this success of these happy, new, abundant future for you. And if it means you need to be a little guarded financially because that's what they want to do, they want to break you down financially, they don't think you deserve it. How dare you? I was here before you. How dare you? I'm smarter than you. I have a degree or I've been with the company longer. Whatever their bullshit excuse is, right? Doesn't matter. Four of Pentacles, be guarded of that promotion opportunity. Be guarded of that financial opportunity. It's okay to be guarded sometimes when you got toxic people around you, right? It is certainly okay for that to happen. And so I'm going to pull a card 
that's the first half of September. I'm going to pull, I'm going to show you all your cards that you got for this entire reading here. I'm going to show you all your angel answer oracles. And then I'm going to pull a message from your angels. So the beginning of August, helpful people, opportunity, and within the next few months, followed by romance, within the next few weeks, if you believe. So you're definitely on this path of progress, improving health, be assertive, and let go. This is your progress, your progressive path, August, first half of August, second half of August, beginning of September. And now let's get a message from your angels. What message do you have for Capricorn to close out their reading? <laughs> I love it. Azure. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. I love how this just ties everything together. You are on a path of progress. You do have people around you that are jealous, that are not happy that you are moving forward. Maybe they're happy, they're not happy that you left them behind. Maybe you're making plans without them and they're being they're making you feel guilty. They're bringing up resentment issues, anger. It's awful, but this is their problem, not yours. Move forward victoriously. Keep growing. Keep progressing. Their failure to grow is not your problem, right? It's not your problem. Why hold yourself back because people are trying to hold you back? Let that shit go, Capricorn. Let it go and start something new, something fresh. You've got positive changes, positive growth. So many great things happening. I can't wait to do your September reading. And I'll be uploading the love readings shortly. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm sending you lots of love this month. And here we go. If you want a personal reading, message me. My information is in the description box below. Make sure you click that little bell when you subscribe so you get notified of the next readings I post up. Love readings are coming up next. All right, Capricorn, have a good one. Bye.